Question here, Jean-Jacques. Uh, when rolling with big, heavy, tough guys since you started jujitsu, what is your best strategy from every position? Great question, by the way. It is important that on the early stage of jiu-jitsu, we learned that guard is something really important for you to develop. It's not always you need a guard to be aggressive and finish, but it's a guard to survive. And when you wrestle somebody bigger than you, most likely it's gonna put you on the bottom. That's nature. And from the bottom, I always try to be in a more than create a little distance between or I sit up, or I always have my feet blocking their legs, their knees, even their hip, because this way I can keep their weight off me. And I will work a lot on the guard with my feet pushing their knees, especially if they're on, on the ground, like knees on the ground will be very helpful. But it's important to understand is guard is something that I have and I will develop, train with big guys, because 10 out of a 10, they're gonna put you on your back because the size. And if you don't have a good guard, it's a higher price for you to pay because they're gonna be on side control and it's just a matter of time. I wanna have my knees, my feet blocking his knees right here. And my hand, very important on the ground to help me to move aside. And at the same time, as I'm bringing his, his collar towards me this way, I'm moving this foot out with my body, look. Bring him in. Now I keep pressing down his collar. I bring my leg back and I keep pushing down. Hold his thigh here. Keep driving. Knee comes in. Then you're ready. Reverse the position. On the same thing here, as I'm moving out, this way I'm pulling him, I'm gonna stick my foot all the way in the middle. Instead of pushing here, I'm just gonna come in and trap. Grab his foot right away. Look, from right here. We're right on his toes, I just keep bringing it in. Very important, lock your leg over here. Okay, I can't get his leg, he stretched his leg on the ground. Good, look at this. I'm right on his back. Oh, he turned his body towards me. I adjust, then you have the armbar. You have a follow-up in every situation that you're gonna be able to improve your position. Again, right here, I can easily just pull it, pull it down here, bring my leg, Back, I can just now come back over here, block him, right here. Now this knee is going to come in to take his back. And now at the same time, I'm having his collar. I can get the second collar. Jay moves away from me. I trap his leg, and now my arm goes underneath. And I have the choke right here. And everything starts right here. This. Now that case, his arm stays here when I move, look. And it's hard now for me to go there. I wanna hook. At the moment I hook here, this arm goes to the ground. And I move. And when he drives towards me, now my hand goes right underneath his chin. I wanna get my wrist underneath his chin. Right away. This side grabs the wrist, right here. Now I bring to my guard. And I already have the choke. And at the same time, look, I can choke. Or I can just use the legs to hook. Right, they reverse them into the mouth. Every time they have the hands, both hands on my knees, he doesn't have the hand to block. Look, he has to put the hand on the ground. Now what happened here is many times I'm here, I'm bringing his head down for a choke. I keep holding the collar, my wrist will be doing this. Bring it in. Lock on my elbow, pull it to the side. If he doesn't do anything, he's gonna fall. He's gonna get the choke right here. A lot of guys get desperate, they roll. He just gave me the top. The easy reverse. And a lot of times, the easy way to defend, pushing my elbow. That's a defense. As soon as he does that, look. Right there, see? Work in the collars, keep the hook, I can even go over. Every time I'm here and he start backing up, moving his body back, look. Now I drive towards him. This way. Same thing again. I bring it here, he moves back, control up. Now I can drive, go over him. A lot of 
five times. I'm trying to pull it and just step right here. He holds my leg. Look, easy now. Come back, I can just go around his back. See his arm trapped? I can easily now roll him this way. I'm danger here. I don't know which side he's gonna move. A lot of times they move there to pass this side. I move over here. I lift the lower hand here. And I'm gonna grab this one right on the top for a choke. If I have my hand over here, I move it, look. And I retreat my leg over here. I don't wanna leave my leg this way. It's gonna defend the choke. Good, look at this. Again. One, two, it will be up to you how quick, how you drill that position to get very good out of that. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video helps you develop your guard against bigger, stronger opponents. If you liked this video, please support the channel by subscribing, liking the video, and commenting with feedback. Thanks!